This is uh, Morten from Inkis TV, uh, second day. And I tell you guys, it's crowded, at least here on the Fujifilm stand. Uh, we are going to talk to um, Scott Maggie in a second from Fujifilm in uh, Asia, uh, Asia Pacific to be more correctly. And uh, Scott... Uh, Hi, Morten. I mean, I think, you, I think you will be the most viewed star on our <laughs> on our channel, right? Oh, you really? were there yesterday as well, right? I get some royalties or something, Morten. No, 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 not at all, not at all. <laughs> We are, when, we, when I saw this the first time, was also together with you, but that was at the uh, guess in Japan. Yeah, just that, about a year ago, eh? Is it, yeah, it's yeah, true. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I mean, um, already at that time, I was surprised because I didn't know about it, right? Sure. Now you have a machine, but it's still not in, in a, it's not still finished, right? Yeah, correct, almost there. Almost so there. hopefully in the next few months, we'll bring it into the market. This is near production. You can see now we can show the quality and everything to everyone. Back in iGas last year, no one could touch. We were really just finalizing everything. So yeah, exciting. It's the first time outside of Japan that we're showing it to the market. So yeah, it's exciting. A, it's a, an exciting machine. And I can't help think about everybody has during uh, all these shows and since that yeah. been talking about Inkjet. Yeah. And I mean, Fujifilm is one of the biggest supplier of inkjet anyway. Yeah. Yeah. So why a toner machine? Great question. And it's part of the transformation journey, right? We've, we see in the industry more and more short run. How do we transfer our B2 quality over to digital? Producing this toner press gives us so many options in the one machine, yeah? And it brings a, the entry point down even lower from inkjet as well. The flexibility that we have in the press you and I were just looking at the sheets, right? 64 gram, super thin material. Also the structured material. I saw a folding carton, 600 micron, all in one box. And you can see on the sheets here, it's six up A4. So it's B2, but it's gonna B2 XL as we talked about before. So all of that using toner technology, it's ready to finish straight away. We don't have that implication, a bit of drying time from what we have on the inkjet as well. We've obviously got the B2 inkjet press, and we'll talk about that in a while. But yeah, it gives us so many options. I think so that's the key thing. when you have a machine this size, yeah. I and mean, we spoke about the opportunities for a, little, like, a lower entry level, yeah. but you still need more space than a conventional toner machine, right? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> it's a few meters long, right? You're gonna need a better working space, but compared to you know, B2 size offset price, roughly the same floor size, yeah? Is it going to replace it? No, but it's going to give our commercial printers, entry-level retail packaging, it's giving them that digital option that, frankly, the customers are looking for, yeah? But I mean, I mean, I spoke to your colleagues from uh, Fujifilm Dimetics in the, our bonjour today, right? Yeah, yeah. And, and as we spoke, speak about the digital transformation and how print runs are getting smaller, uh, mass customization is a fact. I mean, even if you compare it to, let's say, a B2 offset press, yes. uh, a B2 offset press, if you don't have it as a duplex or like a, with a turning unit on it, perfecta, perfecta yeah. you probably have something here that has a speed that is uh, actually very competitive anyway, right? Yeah, I mean, I, mean, I know we, we can't open the doors. And yeah, I was, dying, I was almost to, uh, about to do it, right? Yeah. Got about 10 people to jump on you yeah. and peel you back from it. it. No, yeah, once we launch, we can do all of that but it's a perfecting duplex press. It'll do 15 and a half thousand day fours an hour, to put it in perspective, yeah, about 2,500 sheets. So it's one of the unique parts in the usability, just as we stand, this is the working area. Yeah. That's where we're feeding in the large sheets. This is where they stack. You pull it out, very short, very easy, enabling a lot of uptime, a lot of usability. Our big focus in our heritage, if you like, has been on usability, being able to just press button, and then we've got production, commercial print and packaging, just everything within this short, let's call it maybe six to eight square meter working space. So the sheet itself comes out of these large bins straight down. There's a very wide turning radius, yeah. which is critical when you're doing folding carton boards, Precisely, 600 yeah. micron, yeah, yeah. yeah. Doesn't disturb it. And then we've got some a really bleeding edge technology inside it. We're using far infrared. We're also, compared to conventional toner products, we've reduced the pressure required by about 70%. Yeah. 
with the so that is why, why you have this very thin, uh, because what I noticed when we looked at, um, at the output of it, yeah. it is, uh, I mean, I know it's kind of uh, lame to say, but it has a very offset kind of like style to it, right? Absolutely. Because sometimes if you look at, maybe not so much today, but in the older generations of digital toner, it was something you almost felt on top of the paper. Yeah, right? yeah, 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 and you can see the layer of the ink yeah. and everything. So there's a lot of things working together yeah. to give us genuinely Everyone that we've shown the print quality to, you look at it under a glass, yeah. is completely different, yeah. which is exciting. Yeah. You know, bringing something fresh to the market, the image quality is so clean. Fantastic. And part of it, we use nanoparticulate toner particle. You've got 10 bit processing, delivering over a billion colors. You've got 1024 shades of gray. And then the far infrared fusing does a thing where you've got the image so the far infrared is heating the image and securing it to the sheet, almost like a fix. And then you've got this low pressure roll. So the low pressure roll combined with everything else is delivering the flexibility that we're talking about, yeah? Um, when you see a machine like this, you can't help think about, okay, who are, who are, the, who are the customers, right? Yeah. Because I mean, you look at the diversity of the substrates, obviously a lot of different types of, of customers could, yeah. but. And of course, I don't know anything about the pricing, but I mean, you have a huge machine. Is it for, let's say, is it in the range of where you would take a, your old uh, B2 offset machine out and then have something like this, or, or who are you targeting with it? Yeah, you know, I genuinely think that will happen. Yeah. You know, through the pandemic, actually a lot of our customers, and we've got our six color press back there, they were using the six color press to replace their offset machines. Yeah. Because the market had changed so much. I do think this will replace some of the older B2 presses and also supplement yeah. B2 operations as well. Because yeah. the demand for the applications, the low entry point in terms of the, and we haven't finalized pricing and you know, we, we don't have any of that yet. Yeah. But we kind of roughly know where we're going to be and it's going to enable, I believe, a lot of printing presses to really step into full production digital B2 plus XL, as I said, so. Smart. Yeah. yeah. Um, last question, Scott. Um, when you have a machine like this with toner, it seems also like Fujifilm is uh, recommitting to toner technology, right? So you have, of course, the, the toner uh, and the ink side by side. Yeah. But does that also mean in your, I mean, I'm not asking for like a firm, firm confirmation, but does that also mean that you could potentially see more development in the larger size of sheets also in toner in the future, you think? Yeah, I, I believe so, you know, one rule at all. I think this is this is a massive leap in toner, right? Yeah. If you think of, I don't know, 15, 20 years, we've been perfecting yeah. B3 size toner presses, and now we've got not just B2, but 750 sheet size. Yeah. B2 toner press. I think there's a lot more to come. I think the very complementary technologies looks pretty close to offset, right? I'll let customers and industry be the judge of that. We've then got the inkjet technology. Just on the other side, basically. Yeah, just right? here, and we'll look at that in a minute. And they're very complementary. You know, they sit very well side by side. Same applications, maybe different volumes, different flexibility. I think. Both of these presses alongside offset will do very well in the future, Martin. So congratulations. Thank you very much. And thank you. Yeah, good to see you. Good to see Thanks you. Thanks a lot, Martin. Thank you.